My name is Daniel Eli. I'm the reincarnation of Daniel of the Bible and an incarnate angel. I need to describe to you two visions of the future. One is the Mayan calendar, Bible, end of time, 2012, end of, end of time, ascension, judgment day, which you can see in this video. It's two videos or three videos actually of this same event. But in this video, I'm going to describe to you a vision called Starburst 2020. Now I'm wearing my angelic hat. It's like a halo with my true form, angelic form in the background, including my angelic belt around my neck so that you may all see. Now, a long time ago, the year 2001, 2002 or so, I was transported into the future to witness an alternative timeline to the mind calendar or this is after the mind calendar so seemingly I seem to have been around after this ascension of, of next year 2012 now Starburst 2020 I was I found myself transported into the future now what I witnessed at that point in time was that all the major cities like New York City Chicago Seattle Miami Atlanta Washington DC New York all, all these cities were abandoned there was almost no electricity and it happened to be the year 2092 AD now they called it Starburst 2020 now while I was there I found myself in an old warehouse it was an old abandoned building now I was walking around and I found myself in a, walking with people and talking to an elderly gentleman now I asked him, I said, sir, like what happened here? Why is there no life? Why is 90% of the world's population dead? You know, I came from the past and this guy got angry at me. He, he said like, well, you, come on, you should know, you did this. I said, what are you talking about? You know, what happened here? Why is life in the United States so different in, in the year 2092? And the guy told me that it was because of a nuclear type of detonation or rain, you know, hail from heaven kind of thing that destroyed civilization on or around the year 2020 AD now he told me it was 72 years after starburst this man in the future in the year 2092 now he told me to go back in time to 2020 and see the events that took place around there now in con it, this vision does not necessarily contradict the Judgment Day Ascension of the Earth that I witnessed in the year, August 3rd, year 2000, by physical transportation into the future. So the very fact that I'm an angel of God and my biblical uh, style accuracy rate since 1998 with Y2K, 2001 recession, George Bush presidency, Iraq War, uh, the bursting of the housing bubble, I predicted all these things. So the very fact that you're hearing the future from Daniel the, of the Bible himself I think you should be taking paying very close attention now there's two uh, scenarios for the future at this point there's a full ascension of the entire planet earth then there's the uh, alternative ascension where only about 50 percent 30 percent 60 percent 90 percent are raptured dead or taken away somehow ascended and uh, I'm around to stay around for 2020 this is called the wrath of God scenario 30% immediate die-off, 30% death of the world's population. Now, I placed seven seals at the Catholic Church on Lassen Avenue here in Chico, California on September 21st, two days prior to the autumn equinox. Very dramatic events, which I've not yet ex described, took place around this time period. Now, apparently, the fact that no one is donating even like $200 to my cause, or not even $50, or even $5, uh, on PayPal or in person seemingly uh, concludes that the world does not like prophets they hate them uh, is contrary to what you may imagine I'm caught up in end to end time conspiracy involving men in black vehicles showing up secret service type of uh, government vehicle showing up in my apartment because I consciously directed Hurricane Irene I, I've been given the, the gift of altering the weather in this incarnation now I directed Hurricane Irene directly towards Washington DC but turned it away Saturday evening now that was like August uh, 24th or so. Future of the Earth, uh, you're creating it right now. And if you, if I'm killed, and I've already had the vision where I'm being tortured genitally to death, you're going to get the revelation scenario: seven seals, opening of the seven seals, death, destruction, mass die-off, seven vials of wrath, seven Elohim. 
I left those seals at the Catholic Church September 21st when time for me had changed. Now as far as the Starburst 2020, what I witnessed about the future, and this is a very clear future, I still remember this even though it's a decade later. You see, I'm a prophet, okay, of God. Now I'm not one who makes false prophecies very often, okay. I'm not going to say that I, as a human I'm infallible, because no human is really infallible, including Jesus. You want to give me an example? I can give you examples of contradictions in the Bible, but you probably don't want to hear them, right? So it threaten your belief systems. As a matter of fact, the very fact that I say reincarnation of Daniel of the Bible uh, means that the majority of Christians will not didn't, will not accept me. It's only like the New Age Christians, people into Edgar Casey or Hindus. Hindus accept incarnations. Now, did you really need to see any more wrath of God? October 5th hurricanes, uh, hailstorms, tornadoes, lightning over Chico, California. I did that. God did that through me. To show the world a sign at 4:20 in the afternoon. 4:20 is Columbine shooting. 4:20 is Hitler's birthday. 4:20 happens to be the number of the pot legalization. October 5th is like nine months after the beginning of the new year. So very dramatic things. If you don't believe me, check the weather reports for over Chico, California, since May. I've been altering the weather every single day, five minutes at a time. God allows me to alter the weather since I've ascended to the I Am Presence, Ancient of Days. Now, I am incarnating the Ancient ancient of Days, not necessarily all the time, because I still have a human side of me, which you can see here. You know, I have hands, I have a physical body, I can pray, I pray like this, to the forehead. Now, this video is not very long, but here's the future. We have the alternative futures now. Everything branches off around December of 2012. Now, I've seen this future that everyone's trying to figure out. I have seen God. I have seen God descend from the north-south poles of the planet Earth. I saw the entire planet ascending. Go to the YouTube video where I describe it in detail. Now, considering you're, sp you're hearing the words of Daniel of the Bible himself, an actual incarnated powerful angel of God then don't you think you should pay attention to you know repent uh, come to the realization that God is real that prophecy is real the prophecy didn't end with the Bible it's continuing right now and this is not a Hollywood fictional story and nor 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 am I a, a false prophet so if you can make that accusation I rebuke you in the name of Jesus so that being said you can see this feather on my hat this is actually what the color and this ring this is a copper ring with a violet colored amethyst crystal inside of it. It may only be plastic, but how can you tell in a camera? Now, this angel is my true form here. And it is, it is as I make this video, 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, I'm going to cut this video short at about 10 minutes. Now, since May, when I say altering the weather, there's a lot of people who are delusional, right? or false prophets delusional now I've been called delusional I've been called a false prophet I've been called a fallen angel I've been called evil I've been beat up uh, physically assaulted I wasn't beat up though I was physically assaulted by one guy who figured I was Satan yeah imagine that so and I spent three weeks in jail for being persecuted uh, you know it's that's just the way it happens with the true prophets you know they uh, false accusations against innocent people now I'm not gonna say that I was perfect since birth though but uh, I am an angel right I desire perfection in myself and in with others. So that being said, I leave you with a little bit of music. Maybe Enya. Enya is my favorite artist. She's an angel. On that being said, I take off my hat so I can show you my bald head. Look at my bald head. Isn't that funny? An angel with glasses and a bald head. But I can smile, even at my predicament. So you should smile too, okay? That being said, to Britney Spears, wink, 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 and all those presidents. and uh, You see, not all, all of you take this seriously, but world leaders are taking this seriously. The very fact that I had men in black vehicles surround my apartment six times in one week, I think you should be taking me seriously too as well, don't you think? Amen. So be it. Let it be done. Go in peace. I go in peace. Bye.